I didn't really like the heated toilet seat. <laughs> it was so hot. <laughs> so I was really scared. Um, we are Shinjuku. We ended up lost for like 25 minutes because we ended up at the wrong side of Shinjuku one day when we were here a couple nights ago. Hey guys, it's Cat the Cat and today we're going to ask foreigners who are here in Japan about that one thing that might be a bit annoying or that it wasn't so convenient for them when they came here to Japan. So let's go and ask foreigners in Japan. Now this is the time you would like to say anything in Japan that you don't like so much, like anything where you were like, oh that's a bit annoying. Some people they cannot speak English that much, so when we enter the restaurant or some local restaurant, the shop or something like that, they cannot speak English so we, we cannot talk, we cannot like ask them what we want. How we have to stand on the left side on an escalator. <laughs> Let's just watch everyone else. <laughs> yeah, because it's, um, it's the right in, the, in, in England. So yeah. that's it though. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'd say a lot of the, um, the household or like our hotel is kind of like sized down. So it was just <laughs> hard to um, adjust to because like, oh, everything's kind of smaller compared to like where we are. Like everything's more expanded, but I mean, it's not so bad. Just adjusting to uh, left side. Oh, be on the yeah. left side and That's right. making sure to always blocking the oncoming traffic. Like, oh, <laughs> let's walk over here, blocking yeah. people. So, That's right. Yeah, just adjusting. I guess to be able to like take away food if you can't finish it, you know, because like you don't want to waste and you don't want to be disrespectful. But like it would be cool if you could take the food with you because you do like it, but sometimes it's a bit much. We have hard pillows in our dorm, which makes it very hard to sleep. And it's something I never expected to, but they, I think, filled with rice or something. So it gets uh, time to get used to it, but I, other than that, everything's perfect. I really love it here. Uh, I didn't really like the heated toilet seat. <laughs> it was so hot. Not like, you did not like it? No, I, I like unplugged the toilet. <laughs> I don't like the passmore cards. Kind of like how you have to pay to get in and pay to get out. And like it's so much money just to travel everywhere. I wish it was like New York, you just pay like 275 and you go everywhere. And 275 you go everywhere? Yeah, kind of. You pay 275 in a metro card and you could go anywhere. And they have unlimited cars for months, so you could go anywhere with unlimited. And you don't have to pay <laughs> that much. Unlike here, it's not unlimited and you have to keep paying. And it's like, I waste so much money going everywhere. Navigation sometimes. I, I haven't really had too much trouble, but um, sometimes like in the stations, it's just like difficult. But that's kind of pretty much it so far. Mm. Um, I, feel, I, I might discover more along the road, but because, you know, every, every place always has its, its troubles, but so far I'm fine. Um, for me, this is my first time out of New York State. Um, so yesterday, I took the first, I took the train for the first time by myself. So I was really scared. Um, um, so yeah, because you, you see, there's so many kanji and characters that I don't yet know. So um, yeah, that was about the only thing that um, I went through. That was, it's, it's inconvenient at first, the kanji characters, but eventually you get used to it. So I'm really excited. Yes. Yay. There's not anything like really stands out that I really want to change. It's just like little stuff, maybe like how packed the trains are during rush hour because I feel very squished. But then um, I, I also feel like the same problem. I, I just feel personally I have to learn more kanji, kanji. practice yeah, more yeah. speaking. So that way I cannot get lost as often because it is my first time out of New York. So going by the train on my, by myself, I kind of lost so many times. <laughs> Uh, but it also has a good side to it because I managed to find like little small alleys or streets that have like um, the s small restaurants that you know it's just quiet and it's really cool to just be there. Sometimes with the trains and be and getting off at like exits and not knowing exactly which exit to go on and then end up being at the opposite way you wanted to go because there's just so many different levels of like some of these stations like in Shibuya or Shinjuku we ended up lost for like 25 minutes because we ended up at the wrong side of Shinjuku one day when we were here a couple nights ago. But yeah, that's that's a little inconvenient, but you know, not too much I haven't found inconvenient here in Japan, but yeah. Cool. yeah. Thank you very much. Those were all the questions. Thank you. <laughs> We had a couple of things that annoy people here in Japan, ranging from things that other people actually find comfortable, some people find uncomfortable, and we obviously had also that the fact that many people don't speak English, or that, for example, the trains are very, very crowded in the morning, which is quite terrible, especially if you're on the train and it's already packed and you're right at the door, 
and then the door sign happens and five other people think, oh, this train is very full. Let's just go like, oh, body slam into the crowd so I can make the train on time painful experience. Anyway, so we asked more foreigners and Japanese people about their experiences here in Japan. So click the top right of the screen to find your way to other videos. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to your comments about things that might annoy you in Japan. And I'll catch you soon here for another video on Ash Japanese. Bye!